After months of speculation and headlines, this morning, Giselle Bündchen is breaking her silence about her divorce to Tom Brady. In a candid new interview with Vanity Fair, the supermodel describing their split in October as a death and a rebirth, adding, you give 100% of yourself and it's heartbreaking when it doesn't end up the way you hoped for. Giselle, give him a kiss, Giselle! While the high-profile pair was together for more than 13 years, rumors swirled about a possible rift when Brady made a surprising return to the field last year after a short-lived first run at retirement. How many more seasons do you think you're going to be playing professional football? Oh, God. Are you my wife? Many speculating Bunchin gave the former NFL quarterback an ultimatum to choose football or their marriage, something she calls very hurtful and the craziest thing I've ever heard. Telling the magazine, I've always cheered for him and I would continue forever. If there's one person I want to be the happiest in the world, it's him. Instead, the 42-year-old points to a gradual shift in their relationship, saying, when I was 26 years old and he was 29 years old, we met, we wanted a family, we wanted things together. As time goes by, we realized that we just wanted different things. Bunchin, once the highest paid model in the world, retired from the runway in 2015. Her top model career seemingly taking a back seat for her family, their two children and bonus son from Brady's previous relationship. Now her kids should see her thrive, she says. I have my own dreams. You want to show them that in life, you have to find real fulfillment, not living something that you're not. Since the divorce, she's been spending time in nature and learning the martial art jujitsu, something that's made her once again the subject of tabloid fodder. Bunchin denying any rumors of a relationship with one of her teachers and shutting down the most recent dating headlines involving her and Brady's friend, developer Jeffrey Sofer, telling Vanity Fair, I wouldn't be with his friend. Bunchin is now focusing on her kids and her blended family, she says, together with her ex-husband. The good news is things that it's a very amicable situation. The two maintaining a loving relationship as they move forward separately. We're not playing against each other, Bunchin says. We are a team and that's beautiful. I look back and I have no regrets. I loved every bit of it. So while her family's home base will be in Miami, Bunchin says she's fallen in love with Costa Rica and dreams about living there full time one day. As for what's next, she says never say never to walking down the runway again and points mm -hmm. out there are so many things she wants to do, including potentially playing a superhero. I could oh. see it, those jujitsu moves, mm -hmm. making it to the big screen. So this is the first time she's really kind of gotten into it with yeah. it, about, you know, what led to mm -hmm. the divorce. And I'm sure having heard all those rumors, she was glad to get her side of the story out. Yeah, and it was a really thorough interview. They had spent a lot of time together at her Costa Rica home. So you really got kind of this in-depth look into what she's been doing since then. And, you know, she didn't really conceal that it's been an emotional process. Sure. It's been a heartbreaking process. Uh, and she's, but she seems really hopeful about moving forward and what's to come. They have kids and it's not nasty. And I think yeah. people appreciate that. Like, you know, divorce happens, but at least they're trying to handle it in the best way they can. As a team. As yeah. a team. Sounds like they just grew apart based yeah. on... What, Wanted different yeah. things. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank well, you. We should mention annoying. you can read more of Giselle's interview on VanityFair.com. It's also in the magazine's new issue which is on newsstands April 4th. They should put you on the cover of that magazine. In what world would they do that? <laughs> you should, I just what saw that. But I what about GQ? I GQ? GQ. Let's make a campaign so for that. Yeah. How about <laughs> Popular Mechanics? <laughs> Field and I disagree. Or, <laughs> I, maybe Meteorological Digest. Yeah, oh, that, yeah. that's, that's a big go. read. <laughs> a lot of folks. Yeah. Just how about a forecast? Have a high pressure in a nice strategic location. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.